Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a great one for you today. We're going to show you how to speed up your workflow using presets from Divi. Really easy to do and can really make a difference when building your site. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual page builder on this page. And let's go down, we'll throw in a new section, a little blue button to add a section. I'll throw three little columns in there. And you can do this with any module you want. Let's just use a simple call to action for this demo today. Okay, so I've got a white section there with a little call to action module. Now let's just style this the way we want it to appear over our light colored sections. So I'm going to hit the paintbrush, go to the title right there. H4 is fine, the font's fine. Let's make it perhaps semi bold. I want to change it up a little bit so you can see what's going on here. Font color, I'm going to make it perhaps my 2424, a dark color right there. Let's do the same for our text here. I'll leave it exactly how it is. With Divi, of course, you've got a crazy amount of fonts to audition one. Just click on the default there. And to audition one, just roll over it. It'll give you an example. I'm gonna leave mine on the default today, but I am gonna make it the same color. Let's go in there. Make that that color, great. Not too keen on that background. Let's just take that background away. So I'm gonna to go to content, I'm gonna to go to background, you can either trash it or you can put in a white background to match the color background we've got here. But I'm actually going to have no background. Then perhaps if I put it on top of a light image, we'll see the image through it. Great. Finish off, we'll give it a border and perhaps a little bit of padding. Let's go to design. Down to border. I'm going to do all sides at once. So let's add one pixel, let's make it two pixels, something like that. Padding wise, I'm happy with that. And just to finish off, we'll give it a little bit of box shadow. Great. Okay, well, let's just save that. I'm gonna create a new section there. I'm gonna make a dark section. I'm gonna make a regular section. Again, I'm gonna have three columns in it. I'm not gonna put anything in, I'll just copy the one we've got there and we'll change it around, but this section background color. I'm going to make it dark. Great. Let's just duplicate the one that we've got here. Two little squares to duplicate. I'll roll down a little bit. I'm going to drag it from up here to down here. And of course, we're not going to see very much because it's dark writing on a dark background. Let's go in there. And again, I'll change the color of my text, make it a light color. Or let's just use white. And the same thing, my body text down here. And then we'll do the same thing for the border so we can actually see it. That's great. And if you wanted to, because we're on a dark background here, instead of a dark box shadow there, you could use a light color that would be like a little glow down there. So if we go to our box shadow, as you can see, that one's highlighted up there. Let's change the color perhaps to a blue. And you've got a little sort of lit background there. And you can change the shadow spread strength, make it bigger, smaller, have it glow as much as you want there. The blur. I think the position's actually okay, but we've got a little glow around there now. Anyway, these are all just examples. Okay, so we've got one that's going to show up on our light sections, and we've got one to show up on our dark sections. What we can do now is go up to the top, of the module here, preset default. If we click on this, we can create a new preset from the current styles. And let's call this white CTA. Obviously you call yours what you want, but you want to be able to recognize what it means. And we'll save that. That's great. Now we can get out of there. I'm going to go up to the one above and we'll do a similar thing. I'm going to go into the module itself, up to the top, preset default, 
create a new preset from current styles. And let's put it black. Some GA. Again. We'll save our styles. Fantastic. Now we've got two versions of this call to action module. And every time we add a new call to action module, we can go up here to our preset default. Just add the one we want. We've got it instantly done. You can do this the same way as loading it to your library, but this is a lot quicker doing it this way. And you can have all kind of different versions of it. Move that out of the way. Got three of those. Every time you build a section on a different page, you can just do that. Obviously on the same page, you can just clone it, drag it across. But if you're building a big site, multi-site, and you've got certain styles going on, this is a really way, great way of doing things. So let's save our changes. Let's perhaps use a title or something like that this time. I'm going to add a new row. I'm going to make it a single column in my row. Let's put in a heading module. There we go. I'm going to click on the little pink brush. I don't want mine to be H1. I'm going to make mine an H2 or possibly even an H3. I want to make it a color that you can actually see on this background. That's great there. Great. We'll just say that as a preset at the top here. Create a new preset. Well, that's great. And let's just pull this row up the top so it is a heading. Now for our light section, of course, we can do the same thing. Let's add a new row. Pop it on the bottom here. There we go. Add a new heading. Up to the top for the preset default. White heading. Now you can't see a whole lot because it's, it's white on white there. But now if we go in there, of course we can change the color of it by going down here. And we got our dark heading. And of course you can save that as a preset. And let's just pop him up the top. And as you can see, we've got a white version and a black version or a black version, white version. Same with our little modules here. And as you're building your site with blurb modules and forms and things like that, you can style these and save them to your presets as you're adding new pages, whatever kind of background that you've got that you think that this will fit on. You can do that. And what I was saying earlier about these light ones here and things like that, I didn't put a background in there so you see the background color through. If you're adding an image to the section or something like that, let's add an image, you'll see that image through the background. Now, as you can see, that's showing that image through there. I'm not sure if I'd have that, it's kind of busy. But what you can do in a case like that is combine it with a color. Let's put a, perhaps a blue in there. We'll go back to the image. Image blend. You can multiply it with a color. You've got that nice image. But of course your modules are nicely readable as well. So let's save our changes. Make sure this is all going to work on the other end. And exit the visual build. And there we have it. We've got our dark title. We've got our dark little call to action boxes and we've got our light versions here and they're all saved in our library for quick use next time. So there you have it guys, there's a quick overview of how to use your presets and save and load presets with a Divi theme. Really great feature, can really speed up the build on a site. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you've enjoyed this today, take a look at our Divi for Beginners 
playlist on our playlist page and we've got plenty of more tips just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.